Hello. When we do Module 4, Industrial Economics, one of the most difficult diagrams you have to learn is price discrimination. Price discrimination starts with the total market where an, an abnormal profit is being made by a monopolist. So we have a MC curve, we have an AR curve, an MR curve, production is at MC, MR, Q, and an AC curve which shows that at that production there's the cost, there's the price, and here is the profit area. Nothing unusual there, but if a, if a firm is able to, it will price discriminate. That means it will sell the same good to do to two different groups of customers at different prices, exploiting the fact that different groups of customers may have different price elasticities of demand. Let's show that the profit can be raised if they price discriminate. Imagine two sub-markets, A and B. In sub-market A, there will be a demand curve, an AR curve, and a corresponding MR curve. Likewise, in sub-market B, AR, MR. The firm will produce a total quantity of OQ, but that quantity has to be divided between sub-market A and sub-market B. On a diagram, we show this by dragging across from the MCMR point here, and where the MR curves of the two submarkets are cut, that denotes the quantity that will be sold in each submarket. This quantity plus this quantity equals this quantity. And a key point that's come up in recent past papers is noting the fact that the, the marginal revenue of the last unit sold in each submarket must equal each other. That makes a lot of sense if you think about it. If the marginal revenue of the last unit sold in submarket A was far higher than the marginal revenue of the last unit sold in submarket B, it would make sense to take one of the units sold in B and sell it in A. Only when the two marginal revenues are equal has the distribution between the submarkets been achieved correctly. So there we are, there we have the quantities. Now, because these goods are, are the same goods wherever they're sold, the cost of making them is as it was when we didn't split the market. And the cost is here, where the AC curve is met. So we drag across for the cost. And when we sell this quantity, oops, when we sell this quantity, we can charge price P in submarket B, which generates a profit area of that size. And in this submarket, running up from there, we can charge this price, and that generates a profit area of that amount. Of course, this isn't quite to scale, but topologically it's correct. And this profit area plus this profit area is greater than this profit area. Hence, it was worthwhile splitting the market and selling to two different sub-markets. Providing, of course, the separation of the markets can be held by the monopolist at low cost. It doesn't allow any seepage from the, from the low price market to the high price market, or vice versa and it doesn't allow any reselling between customers. If these conditions are met, then price discrimination will boost the abnormal profit of the monopolist. Thank you.